Hey, young people. Well, this is uh, more government incompetence, even though Biden's calling on people that didn't do anything, we should restrict them and take their guns away. It's just outrageous the way the left does this every time. So now, of course, government always has excuses. Now there was a breakdown in communication. Yeah, you didn't lock the school. The teachers didn't lock it down. The door wasn't locked. The cops didn't go in. The cops didn't communicate. I mean, it's just, and kids are dead. And who's to blame? Good people who have guns and we need to get rid of the gun. It's just absurd that people can buy in to this cover-up of redirecting and deflecting. It's not us, government. We're good. We're going to protect you by taking away guns from you to defend yourself. Meanwhile, we have the borders open. They can bring in all the guns they want. We do fast and furious operations. The government actually sells fully automatic illegal weapons to illegals in a government operation that used to kill people. That's not the problem. No, no, no. The problem is you pesky citizens who pay taxes, who the government supposedly works for, doesn't think that you can have a gun. Outrageous. So the cop now, the police chief is saying uh, 911 calls. He wasn't told about it. Now, they haven't got the interview of the Uvalde police because there's a school police and the Uvalde police. Of course, a lot of government. And the DPS. And all the federal agencies. And the local sheriff. Because we can never have too much government, right? Because in that way, when government screws up and 19 kids die, we can say it wasn't our fault, it was the gun's fault. So, all these agencies, nobody's talking to anybody. Nobody can make a decision on scene. 19 cops in the hallway while they're hearing gunshots in a classroom where a guy has already killed people in the hallway and they crossed over dead bodies and they're standing out there with dead children and they hear firing in the classroom and not one officer can put together the clues and go, maybe he's shooting kids. He's not shooting at us. Who's he shooting at? Oh, maybe there was a mouse in there. Maybe he's just doing mouse control. All right. So... Cops don't go in, total failure. Now they're saying it's not my fault. The chief said, hey, I made a decision. Nobody told me there was 911 calls. How was I supposed to know there was kids in there? Well, that's because you're a damn idiot. It's a freaking school. There's a school shooter. You crossed over dead bodies. It sounds like the police chief was on scene. And that's probably why a lot of people wouldn't overturn him. But, I mean, I don't care who's there. you got kids being killed. Somebody has to grow a set of balls and go, I don't give a shit what you say. I'm not letting kids die. Like the parents did. And we're going to get into the parents interview where the government's threatening her now. But the new news today is the poor chief that got police protection because he was worried that uh, was a complete incompetent that has no experience that was a coward that ordered a bunch of coward cops and nobody would override him uh, and all the kids died. Now it's the 911 caller or another police department because they didn't tell us. It wasn't my fault. I didn't know. If I would have known, I would have done something different. Yeah, of course you would have, you freaking coward. So here's piece of shit Biden, the freaking most popular president. Sure he is. The most smartest, the greatest. He's doing a great job. We're all going freaking broke while he's in office. Can't afford gas, groceries, or anything. Oh, it's Putin's fault. No, no, it's not my fault. It's Putin. No, it's the AR-15's fault. That's why we have high guys' prices. That'll be the next one. Let's hear the lies he's spreading. Tragedy. But here's what I believe we have to do. I don't care what you believe. You're a freaking idiot. Hell, you believe Santa Claus is still freaking coming around. I don't give a shit what you believe. Here's what the overwhelming majority of American people believe we must do. I don't believe that the overwhelming... If the overwhelming majority of people think that taking away guns from good people is somehow going to keep you safe, then this country is way past doomed. I don't even, I mean, I don't trust the liberal left, and I think they're a bunch of freaking idiots, and they don't know left from right, they don't know what bathroom to use, they don't know what, they don't know shit, except how to screw up a country and get us to more social and give government more power. But all that aside, I still don't think 50% of the people think that taking away guns from good people will keep you safe. But you know what? Nothing surprised me anymore. Do. Here's what the families in Buffalo and Uvalde in Texas told us we must do. See, he's quoting what all the families told him what to do. 
Why isn't there one guy with ball? If my family, if anybody I know was killed in a gun incident, you can take this shit to the bank. I would never be out there calling to take guns from good people. Never. Just wouldn't happen. I, and why? And if the government tried to pull that shit, I would be everywhere I could saying, I never said that. I don't believe that. The fucking government's lying like they always do. Why isn't one parent saying, this is bullshit. Stop using my kid's death to push your agenda. They always scream, ban assault weapons, ban high capacity, ban big guns, ban uh, big pistols, automatic pistols, rifles with short barrels, sawed off shotguns. They get this incremental inch by inch encroachment on the Second Amendment, which is pretty clear, shall not be infringed. It's pretty freaking clear. Now their new mantra is the Second Amendment is not absolute. Actually, it's pretty much absolute. When somebody says shall not be infringed, that's pretty much absolute. That means stay the hell out of people having the ability to hold tyrannical government accountable and to be able to defend themselves. That's pretty absolute, but not with these freaking liars. We need to ban assault weapons in high capacity magazines. Every time. They've been doing this for 15, 20 years. Somehow, every failure of government, this is the answer. And you know what? When and if they get this, the next government failure will be banning something else. And idiots that agree with him will be agreeing with the idiots again. And if we can't ban assault weapons, then we should raise the age to purchase them. So now we're already jockeying we always call for this because we really want this. It's kind of like if you want a raise, you ask for $50 an hour a raise. And then when they counter with 25, you would have been happy with 20. But you go in high and then you take low. They shouldn't be going in at all. Shall not be infringed. Leave good people alone. Good people did nothing. Bad people will always do bad things and punishing good people. You know, last, last weekend, Chicago, 46 shootings, all by black people, mainly black victims, black on black crime. You can't say black violence. That would be racist. But you can say gun violence. Where is the logic in that, people? Why aren't, uh, and our media is just so you know, promoting this shit on the sidelines because they review assault weapon. A hey, weapon doesn't assault. Assault is an action. It doesn't describe a freaking weapon. Assault knife, assault car, assault. Oh, when a, when a tornado blows down my house, it's an assault tornado because it did damage and it's a tornado. So I'll call it an assault tornado. I mean, it's just outrageous how idiot people are letting government define and change words to push their agenda from 18 to 21 strengthen background checks okay so they're saying because this kid was 18 and bought the gun legally and passed a background check that they failed to catch and he had a prior arrest and there was all kind of signals and they screwed that up and then they screwed up the response and they screwed up locking the school then they screwed up locking the school doors then they screwed up not telling the chief that there were 911 calls then they screwed up by staying in a hallway while kids are getting all these screw ups no 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 it's those assault weapons and high capacity mags that will keep you safe if we take those from everybody all the good people out freaking rageous the lies that these people tell and act safe storage law and red flag laws red flag laws is the worst thing ever don't believe it it sounds good but it's bullshit it basically gives government the ability to act on snitches it basically gives government an open door to ignore the constitution and your rights based on anybody including an anonymous tip so if you like red flag laws and you know what government's going to do? They're going to exempt themselves from red. If red flags laws work, I would call in that Joe Biden's a fucking idiot. He shouldn't own a gun. He shouldn't even be around guns. And they would take his guns and they wouldn't let guns around him. That's what red flags are. You know what? 
government's going to exempt themselves from red flag laws because people are going to start reporting politicians as being fucking crazy and they shouldn't have a gun. And they'll start blaming freaking cops who are out there shooting people and being irresponsible with their guns. And as soon as we red flag them, they'll be like, man, this ain't going to work. Okay, we have to exempt government from this bullshit law to where it only screws over good Americans. Red flag laws and this ban on bullshit is wrong. Repeal the immunity that protects gun manufacturers from liability. Oh, you want to repeal the immunity from gun manufacturers who ain't doing nothing making a product. You can't sue a car company when I go out and drunk drive and kill somebody. It's not the car's fault. It's not car violence. You can't sue the car manufacturer. Only they want gun manufacturers. They will go at the gun at every angle. It's just freaking outrageous. You don't want to pull the immunity from cops and government. You don't want to pull your immunity when they're out there killing people. And it's like, uh, limited immunity, you can't sue them. DAs go, eh, we're not going to prosecute them. So you don't want to pull that immunity, but you want to pull the immunity from a gun, somebody that makes a product. That's perfect. You don't want to, why don't you pull the immunity from gas companies because they're uh, uh, tearing up the environment? Why, 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 don't, why don't you go after the sun? Maybe we should put a sign up, no sun radiation, no more heat for global warming. You fucking idiots. It just drives me nuts listening to these people. Address the mental health crisis. You mean like you? You mean like your mental health crisis? Is that what you want to address? Fucking idiot. Deepening the trauma of gun violence and as a consequence. Gun violence. It's not black violence. It's not people violence. It's not male female violence. It's not car violence. It's not fire violence. If I burn something down, it's not fire. We don't blame the fire. No, no. It's only gun violence because we want the guns. Consequence of that violence. These are rational. Common sense measures. Rational and common sense. How the hell can you even say those words? You freaking lying fuck that raised kids, using drugs, hiding freaking uh, hard drives, fucking running around, getting paid for not doing nothing, paying you a kickback, been in government life your whole freaking life, never had a job. You are a freaking scumbag. Ugh. Here's what it all means. It all means. Here's what it all means. I just, I got. Here's what it means. I can't eat my oatmeal. And I'm a fucking idiot. And, uh, I'm banning guns. And uh, the, the reason the gas price is Putin's fault. And ban Putin. And, and ban, ban, ban high prices. And, and, and ban taxes. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to do that. Uh, raise taxes and give us more. Freaking idiot. Is this. We should reinstate the assault weapons ban and high capacity magazines that we passed in 1994 with bipartisan support in Congress and the support of law enforcement. Fuck you and law enforcement. How about that? Law enforcement wants you to take, if you ban them, let's ban them from law enforcement. You want to take the ARs? Cops can't have them. You want to take the high capacity? Cops can't have them. Oh, no, no, we can't do that. We're special. We're the government. We got to have all the shit that you can't so we have the advantage. So when we get tyrannical and want to uh, 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 violate your rights and ignore the Constitution, you can't do shit about it except peaceful protests. Walk around with your little sign until we decide to mow you down or beat the shit out of you or shoot you. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Government's always responsible and always does right. Hell, they just saved 19 kids from getting killed, right? With their great responsibility, their great response, their great knowledge on how to solve problems. 19 kids dead. Perfect. Nine categories of semi-automatic weapons were included in that oh, ban. Fuck you. It I was law. Let the law. Mass shootings triple. Oh, sure. Those are the facts. Those are the facts. A few years ago, the family of the inventor of the AR-15 said he would have been horrified to know that his design was being used. Oh as my God, this guy's Einstein. So now, because we can use him, he said he would have been horrified about the gun. He made a weapon of war. He made a gun. A gun is designed to kill things. And now he's horrified? I wonder if all the people that design cars are horrified that it's destroying the environment and global warming. I wonder if all the people that made air conditioners that use different fuels, made oil, made gasoline with lead in it, killed all those kids. I wonder if all those people are horrified. No, 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 no. It's only those gun people. Slaughtered children, as it was designed. We should limit how many rounds a weapon can hold. <clears throat> But not for government. 
Remember, this is only for the pesky citizens. Never are any of these designed for government because government shouldn't have any controls because they're good. They're effective. They'll protect you. 19 officers in a, in a hallway with guns and they didn't go in and save one damn child. Why in God's name should an ordinary citizen be able to purchase an assault weapon? Because it's motherfucking America, you fucking dickhead. That's why. Ugh, I can't watch him. All right, let me get to this other part. Shit. So somebody made a comment on this, uh, on one of my videos, and it said, uh, I find it suspicious, left in charge, once months, once multiple agencies, including federal agencies, were on site. Normally, federal agencies have power to take control. That's bullshit, okay? Federal agencies don't have power to take control. It wasn't a federal offense. I've never in my career had a federal agency come up and go, we're taking control. We will relinquish control. We will give them control. Federal rights and federal officers got no freaking business or authority in states' business. States' rights are supreme, or it's supposed to be. And this, this belief that you have that the federal government can just come in and take over is the problem why the federal government keeps growing. Bad mistake. So I want to update on this woman. This is the woman that went in and saved her kid. This is a great story that she tells. The cops threatened her that if she kept talking to the media, <laughs> they were going to violate her probation. Now, it, this, the media says that she's on probation for 10 years. That doesn't make sense. I've never in my life heard of somebody on probation for 10 years. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody being on probation for more than three, maybe four years max. Uh, even parole, I'm not sure you get parole for that long. But... Uh, you know, maybe the laws have changed, but when they say she's on probation for 10 years, I, I don't believe that. But let's see what they say here. This marshal started coming toward my car saying that um, I wasn't allowed to be parked there. And uh, he said, well, we're going to have to arrest you because you're being very uncooperative. I said, well, you gee, she's being uncooperative. She's a mom concerned about her kids and you guys are standing around with your thumb up your ass. And she's the problem. Perfect. More government. We should just ban moms. You know what? If we ban parents from schools, we wouldn't have these problems. Because these assault parents that want to come up here and disregard our brave police officers out there doing a tough job, they should be banned from going to school where their kids are at so government can take care of things without the pesky parents. It's coming. You're going to have to arrest me because I'm going in there and I'm telling you right now, I don't see none of y'all in there. Y'all are standing with snipers and y'all are far away. I'm, if y'all don't go in there, I'm going in there. He <laughs> I love this girl. Man, this, this is my girl right here. She's on it. Right, immediately put me in cuffs. She says after Uvalde police officers told marshals. Here's, here's the great state patrol, highway patrol, Texas Rangers can't write a freaking warrant. I'm going to get to the warrant. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to do it today. To uncuff Gomez, she ran towards the school. As soon as they uncuffed me, I... As soon as they uncuffed her, she took off to the school. <laughs> I love it. I bet those cops are like, damn, she's fast. We can't catch her. She's a crazy mom. If, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the president to see if we can't ban crazy moms. Jumped that first gate fence. And once I jumped it, I went to my son's class. And I knocked on the door and I remember the teacher saying... Um, I'm like, hey, they're already, they're already um, bulge cutting the fence to get me. She's like, you think we have time to get out? I said, y'all have time. I'm going to run for my other son. So they were about to go in to chase her because she was unarmed. Because she had already not, com she complied with the ban and didn't know it and didn't have a gun. So they were ready to cut the fence down and go get her. Meanwhile, they're standing in a hallway because they didn't know children were in there with their 911 call freaking ridiculous. Once she was assured her son was okay, Gomez ran to get her other child, encountering more officers who tried to stop her. So I start yelling and I'm being a cooperative and I'm like, well, y'all aren't doing shit. What are y'all doing? Y'all ain't doing Y'all need <laughs> She was giving them hell. I love it. Be in here. Give me your best. Somebody give me a best. Some something. I started paying attention to how far the shots were being so that I knew the shooter was all the way still by my first son's class. So because she was in this heightened state of awareness, she was worried about her kids, she was picking up the shots, how far they were. And the cops were still able to go chase her, but the cops didn't have the knowledge or balls to go, we're pretty far from the shots. Maybe we should be where the shots are instead of chasing mom. No, no, Rick. 
The problem is high capacity mags and those AR-15s, everybody wants them banned because it'll keep you safe. Fucking ridiculous. Class. So when I went to my son, my second son's door, the teacher didn't want to open the door for me. So that's when- oh, That's reasonable. I'm not sure she didn't want to open it for her. The teacher was following a lockdown and wasn't going to open it. So, I mean, I get what the teacher was doing, but if you got a parent out there saying, look, I'm out here, the shooter's not out here, open a fucking door, I want my parent or I want my kid, you would think the teacher would open it. So you got one teacher that won't open the door for a parent when she tells her it's safe. You got another teacher propping the door open because she has to go out to her car to get her phone or she's going out for a smoke break or there was a rock in the door or when I locked it, it was the door's fault. Yeah, it was the door's fault. We need to ban doors that don't lock. Why don't we get a ban on that? Maybe we get signs by the door. Doors must lock. Doors that don't lock will be arrested. Yeah, that'll work. And they started um, escorting me out. And as I as I see that they're opening my son's door, I go run for my son and I... <laughs> Which means she broke away because if they were escorted out, they had their hands on her. And when she saw her other son's door open, she busted away and went and got her son. Good for this freaking woman. Man. Get him. With both of her kids out safe, Gomez still can't shake the thought of those who didn't make it. What? So I'm not sure if this is her and her kids. Um, if <laughs> She's my freaking hero, man, this girl. I mean, she is on my freaking team. Uh, this, this is the kind, this is what a strong, empowered woman looks like. You freaking left-wing rainbow flag not knowing what bathroom to use. This is what a strong, empowered woman looks like. While you were inside the school, did you see officers there inside the school? There was not one school? officer inside the school when I in ran to my areas. second son's class. There was no not one officer in the school until she ran in, and then there were officers chasing her. Man, I'm so glad we got those brave police officers and all this training. And man, I feel safe. This is, I just feel safe. I feel, the only way I'd feel safer is if I just gave up all my guns. Then I'd feel safer. What a freaking idiot. One officer. And you were hearing gunshots, so you knew you that could hear the it gunshots. was an active shooter. It was still active. The gunshots were still active. They were not in there. There was no one in there. If anything, when I pulled up, my car was closer to the school than, the, where, than where the snipers and everybody that was laying on the ground were. <laughs> snipers and people laying on the ground. She is dogging these cops. No wonder they didn't want her to talk. She's given an accurate report on what she saw, and it's making the cops confirm that they were freaking cowards, and they're all about officer safety, and they don't give a shit about your kid or you. That's what they don't want her saying. When you heard that it took law enforcement 75 minutes before they went in and stopped the shooter, what was your thinking, having been inside the school yourself? I don't know. I was just thinking that they could have saved many more lives. They could have gone into that classroom and maybe two or three would have been gone, but they could have saved a whole, a whole more. So freaking accurate. Not one government freaking employee has the balls to say what she's saying. Everybody knows it's true. Every cop knows it's true. Everybody there knows it's true. But not one of them has the balls to say it. Disgusting. The whole class, they could have done something. Gone through the window, sniped them through the window. I mean, something, but nothing was being done. If anything, they were being more aggressive on us parents that were willing to go in there. And like I told one of the officers, I don't need you to protect me. Get away from me. I don't need you. Good for her, because I know what the cop's saying. You can't go in there. I have to keep you safe. I have to protect you. I can't let you in. Yeah. They're always Johnny on a spot protecting an unarmed mother in a safe area where they're not getting shot at. Meanwhile, while guys in there shooting, they're going to say, I was ordered not to go in. Uh, it wasn't my fault. I was ordered. Uh, we didn't know there was 911 calls. Uh, we didn't know what he was shooting at. We just thought he was celebrating the 4th of July or something. Freaking lie after lie after lie. Protection. If anything, I need you to go in there with me to go protect my kids. And if anything, they were being more aggressive on us. They were more pertained on keeping us back than getting into that school. I knew that from the second I heard this story. I was just like, it didn't add up. We know there were 19 officers inside the school. This is what the Texas Department of Public Safety have told us and, you know, has, has been. Of course, law enforcement could not let, you know, all the parents go in. Look at her. She's defending them. She's out here interviewing this woman saying that she did good and right 
And then she jumps immediately back on the government. Of course, they couldn't let parents in. Why? Why couldn't they? If they were in there going after the shooter, they wouldn't have been able to stop parents. They could have put a wall around a guy so the parents could have got their kids. Instead, they want to keep parents out so they can claim the hero when they bring the kids out and say, look what we did. We saved them. Just like the hero cop patrol, border patrol dude that got the shotgun from the barber. Everybody's making him out. Oh, he got a shotgun from his barber. He's a hero. Uh, he knew all the cops. They didn't stop him and they let him in. That's why he was able to get his kid out. That's why he was able to save kids. The cops cost kids lives by concentrating on parents. And this freaking stupid reporter, although she's pretty good looking, she freaking is still jumping on the freaking bandwagon of, uh, of course the police can't let everybody in. Why the fuck can't they? And why are you defending the cops, you idiot? Shot, uh, of course, Law enforcement could not let, you know, all the parents go in. For they can do what the fuck they want. There's no duty to act. They cannot go in and protect children. They cannot protect you. Or they can harass parents and handcuff them. They have no duty to act. Not only do they have no duty to act, when they act, they get immunity so they can't be sued. For their safety, for everyone's safety, and so they could focus on the evacuations. But, um, you know, there's no doubt. So she gives all this support to government and then says but and and law enforcement has admitted that this uh, weight was a big big mistake henry yeah yeah, yeah no definitely shit. when you're in the center result that she was able to get into the so what is the deal with Arandondo? Is he cooperating with the investigation? What DPS told us initially is that he has not been responding to requests by the Texas Rangers who are leading that investigation for a follow-up interview. He was already interviewed. They're asking for follow-up inter interviews uh, for you know more information and now that they have other kinds of uh, evidence. One thing that, and then he told uh, our affiliate in Houston that he has communicated with DPS. The Texas Rangers are part of DPS. We're still asking those questions and so who is a state senator, Roland Gutierrez, who I spoke with late yesterday, was where? He says, look, you know, if if there were DPS uh, agents there, officers there, if there were Uvalde police, whomever else was in there could have also just intervened, made that call, mm. taken charge. Absolutely. Man, that's what I've been saying. In the Any one of those cops could have went, I don't give a shit. Cops, kids are getting killed. I'm going in. And all this shit about they needed more gear and they couldn't go in. The door was barricaded. Once they got a key, somehow all the barricades went away. They were able to walk in and shoot the guy and confront him. He shot at them from a closet. They shot and killed him. No officers were hurt. So if they could do that an hour later with just their little shields and their little guns, why did they wait an hour? Because they were scared? because they didn't have real cops show up and go, we're going in? We don't know yet. We'll find out. Anyway, uh, this girl is my freaking hero. I wanted to cover where the cops threatened her about, now she said somebody called, I don't know who, and a cop can make an anonymous call and say, hey, I'm not going to tell you who I am, but you need to shut up and quit talking to the media or we're going to violate your probation. I absolutely believe that happened 100%. And this is what she told the reporter when there's a shooter inside clearly but um it, her energy just what her frustration is what's reverberating across this community at this point and she also told me that you know she she's on probation for some charges from uh, about a decade ago and that probation for charges a decade ago does not make sense but anyway she received a call from someone in law enforcement telling her that if she keeps talking to media or if she, you know, keeps sharing her story, uh, that she might face some kind of violation for obstruction of. That is so bullshit. See, the Supreme Court had to rule because cops used to say, if you don't cooperate with us, we're going to take your kids and protect custody and give them CPS. So if you don't want your kids to go, you better tell us something. And I mean, I might have been guilty of that. Not in that way. I would tell them, look. You are involved. We know you're involved. I don't want to arrest you. If I arrest you, I have to take your kids in protective custody. That's different than saying, you better do this or I'll just take your kids. And that's what cops were doing. So they, they, there was some case law that came out that goes, you can't threaten parents to take their kids. I can tell you that if you get arrested, I have to take your kids. That's fine. But, you know, there's ways to manipulate. So the fact that a guy called her and said, hey, 
if you talk to the media too much and you make us look bad, we're going to find a way to violate your probation. So you just got fair warning. And that's just intimidation and coercion and it's bullshit. But it just goes to what government will do to push their agenda. It wouldn't surprise me a bit if Biden was like, hey, man, we got to shut this mom up. Can you guys shut her up? But she's messing up my gun grab freaking lies. Justice. So she was uh, that she might face some kind of violation for obstruction of justice. So she was holding back from sharing her story until now because a judge told her that she was brave and that uh, her her probation would be shortened. So that gave her the courage to talk to us. Her I would love to see the judge that told her that. And if he does shorten her probation, I think he should. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, she is a hero. She did the right thing. She set an example for what real men should have done. But anyway, um, I, I wanted to get that out. All right, we'll end that there. These are the updates so far. I'm sure we'll get more. I'm working on a search warrant after this, and that'll probably be out either later today or tomorrow. Y'all have a good one.